morning guys hope you're all doing well welcome back to another vlog and as you can see from the title today's vlog is somewhere very exciting and i'm actually in mauritius for a week which is so like i can't even believe i'm here this is the most dream destination i've wanted to come here for so long and i'm so grateful to finally be here so i'm actually here with the mauritius tourist board and they're putting us up in two different hotels we've got lots of activities planned and it's going to be the most amazing week can we just appreciate my view right now like look at this this is stunning. All I can hear is the waves and uh, I'm just in heaven. So I thought I'd give you a really quick room tour of our first hotel. So this is actually Long Beach in Mauritius and this is a beautiful hotel. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the room quickly and then obviously I'll show you round and about the resort as and when we do things. But I do have borrowed time. I've got 25 minutes to get myself completely sorted, ready, changed and back out the door. And my suitcases have only just turned up because we only just got back here. So I'm gonna give you a quick rush around room tour and then I will show you my outfit. So this is what the room looks like. Over here you've got the little desk with the TV and obviously I've just kind of decanted all of my bits. It's currently the 15th of May and you do still need masks here. So just a heads up if you're coming. I've got a little pink decor, which I really like. I've got the little chaise along at the end of the bed. I've got the bed, obviously my luggage and stuff is everywhere. This is actually the cupboard with the mini fridge, but I'm just quickly steaming my shirt for today. A little coffee bar. There's a little basket down there that you can put shoes and stuff in. Through here, we've got wardrobes, toilet, bath, shower in that corner which is lovely more wardrobes my goodness you do not need any more wardrobes there's so many and then this is the little sink setup which i love so you've got all the natural light coming around the sides and obviously you can just get ready here i've got a little desk here that i can do my hair and stuff and then out here is my little terrace which is just magical so i've got a little table and chairs there which is going to be lovely in the mornings i've got a little sofa which i can sit on and relax and then this is my view which heaven I kind of want to go and sit in this little thing, but I also kind of want to go and sit over there. So maybe that's where I'm going to have a morning coffee, who knows, but it's just divine. But for right now, I'm going to position myself in front of the mirror and sort all of this out and try and do something with my hair because the humidity here is bad. Like it's very humid. So my hair already is just starting to grow. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm definitely channeling Monica in Friends. So I bought a little frizz serum with me, which is just like a smoothing cream. It says for frizz control and smoothness. So I'm going to like wet it down a little bit put some of that on and hope that I can just tame tame the beast because I'm not planning on straightening it or anything today. I'm just gonna leave it like this, but it is just getting bigger by the minute. So that's gonna be my first point of call. Sorry, this is the most sporadic first cliff ever, but I'm gonna catch up with you when I'm ready to go and have a little bit more time. <laughs> Okay guys, we had the quick change. The hair is very wavy, very humid. We've got a bit of a Monica from Friends vibe going on. I've just chucked on this little outfit. So I've got a Hunter G swimsuit, I've got a little black shirt, I've got some little shorts from H&M and sliders. I'll link everything down below, but we're now getting a little boat over to Ilosa, which is a cute little island. And we're gonna have lunch there, enjoy the beach and stuff. And I think these might be one of the boats we're getting on, which are very cute, very white, very aesthetic. Watch us go around the corner and actually not be one of these boats now. And I've just said that, but um, they look very cute so yeah very very warm i think it's like 28 degrees or something but it feels so much warmer because there's no wind um but yeah we're gonna head over to the little island and get some lunch I said I would show you all of my outfits and stuff and I have not showed you any so far so I thought I'd give you a quick outfit overview so I'm just wearing this little bikini from Nasty Girl which is just like a little black and white number I've got a vintage Burberry scarf just around my waist it's like a little sarong camera just overheated but we are at Ilo Surf which is a beautiful beach and looks like so this little little it's basically an island that you can't stay on but there's like a golf course there's loads of restaurants loads of bars loads of beaches and stuff and it's just a good time so we've come here to just chill out for the afternoon and just really relax and honestly it's heaven so Jordan and I are gonna go on a little trip over there in a second and just wade through the water get some cute snaps and stuff and just have a good time she's looking like a little vintage vision over here. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's me like, woo! <laughs> Good evening guys we've just got back from Ilo Surf where we have spent the entire day just relaxing and having a nice little lunch doing like just little pottery round things and like obviously taking snaps and stuff because ultimately that's why we're here but it's a beautiful place to go if you want to go for a day trip I think they do from various resorts I'm not 100% sure I'll find out the information and put it below but 
it's really beautiful and they do have a golf course there as well so if you've got another half who's really into golf definitely somewhere to take them um, but it's just a really beautiful place so you can't actually stay on that island but you can do little day trips and it's really lovely so highly recommend going there beaches are really beautiful and really quiet as well but now we're back at the hotel and then we're heading for dinner at chef's kitchen which is a restaurant here at the hotel that is apparently amazing so I'm gonna get myself a little bit dressed up this evening I'm gonna wear like something really cute and head over there but I've definitely just inhaled some sand or something so I'm gonna have a bit of water and get myself ready because the girls are gonna be meeting me in literally 10 minutes so I'm gonna try and throw on something I think I know what I'm gonna wear but I need to find it in my suitcase okay quick outfit of the night because the girls are waiting and I need to go downstairs so I've just got the shirt that I had on earlier with a little black bra underneath and some cycle shorts I've got this little pink bag which is a Jacquemus dupe from misguided and then I also have these little pink strappy heels on as well which are very very cute they're just like a minimal little strappy number and very pink very here for it I better go because I'm running late so I'll see you in a minute so tonight's dinner is at Chef's Garden which is one of the hotel restaurants and it's so stunning so you probably can hear a bit of a racket behind me the guy is just setting up the like fire pit bit in the middle and apparently they're going to do like a live cooking for us so we're all going to be sitting around and talking while they're cooking and chatting to us about what they're cooking and everything which is kind of cool I like the concept of like food being freshly made in front of you so you kind of appreciate it a little bit more it's like a little bit more gratitude when you have literally watched it being cooked which is really cool but apparently the garden is like right here you can't really see because obviously it's quite dark at the moment but the garden's right here and all the food is from the garden and prepared for dinner which is amazing but i'm going to show you what it looks like it's literally so cool and it's also a full moon tonight we know i love a full moon jordan's on the rituals tonight because yeah, yeah. we've got to get the girl a man <laughs> also how stunning is this dress a little house of cb number oh, yeah. beautiful we love it love to see it <laughs> Um, I think I've already talked through my outfit, but I've got my little pink bits on and my black because, you know, got to keep true to the black, but also add the little hints of pink in there. Oh my goodness, I've woken up to the most amazing sunrise ever. It looks so beautiful. This is what it looked like when I very first opened the doors because out here is really nice and warm. In there is freezing cold because I was hot last night and now it's so cold this morning. But it just looks magical and oh, I love a sunrise. I don't know if I like a sunrise more than a sunset, but I definitely love a good sunrise. But this morning we're up nice and early, so it's 20 past six at the moment and we're gonna go and head off for a sunrise kayak. And the sea's actually quite warm here, it's not too bad. So hopefully it's not gonna be like freezing cold when we're in it this morning, but very excited for a little bit of exercise and a little bit of a different experience and like a way to see the island from a different perspective. Because I think when you're in the sea, you can always see an island or a piece of land completely differently. And it's one of my favorite ways to travel. So we're gonna do that. And then I think we've just got like a bit of chill time and breakfast and then we've got a few different bits this afternoon which are going to be really fun too. So excited for a day ahead. Outfit wise, I've just got on my little crochet shorts from Nasty Gal. These are just like little simple shorts. I do wish I'd sized up so these were a bit more oversized because on the model they looked quite loose. So I wish I'd sized up for that. But otherwise, really comfortable. They just fit a little bit tighter. And then I've got my linen shirt on and my bikini is from Elsie and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to quickly pop some flip flops on. I'm just going to pop on like cheapy little Primark jobbies because these are just <laughs> the easiest, breeziest thing in the world. Chuck on. And I also don't mind getting them ruined. So these are going to come with me and then I'm just going to take my phone and that's it. And I'm going to head out the door. So there might not be many clips because I don't really want to ruin any of my tech, especially not my camera. So we'll see what I get. There might be nothing, there might be something. If not, I'll just give you some pictures in the travel diaries next time. <laughs> I've had the smallest change ever, but I've just popped on my Jacquemus hat, which I love so much because I thought it'd be a bit of a vibe for sitting by the pool and also for the National Park later. Then I've got my little crochet top on that matches the shorts. I've put a white bikini on instead, and then I've got my basket bag and the little sliders from Nasty Gal, but I am gonna be putting on some different shoes. So I've actually got some like lace up ones in here, but I'm running late, so I'm gonna put them on in a minute. But this is my outfit to go down to the pool for a minute, and we've got some coconuts and stuff, so we're gonna get some cute pics. So I think I might put this around my head instead. We'll see, but yeah, I just think it's quite a cute little beachy look. We ended up going in the pool, so I've got so humid hair, but it's fine because I am about to go and wash it 
in the room because it's just really like smoky from last night's dinner. But we've got a cooking class at 11, so we're gonna be learning to make a traditional Mauritian curry. And then we're gonna be eating that for our lunch. And then we're heading over to a national park and we're gonna do like a little mini hike, which is absolutely my cup of tea. If you know me and you've followed me for a while, you'll know this, like I just love a good hike. And then apparently there's some really gorgeous viewpoints. There's a really nice waterfall, all that kind of stuff. So very, very excited. I'm just having the best time. Like it's such a fun trip and we're just doing all the little things which is what i love about mauritius there's just so much to do which i never knew i thought it was quite a like tropical just chill kind of island but it's not there is a lot to do there's a lot of things and we're doing all the things <laughs> i've had my post swim shower and i feel so much better for it i honestly just feel really refreshed and relaxed and the shower was actually kind of cold i didn't turn it up too much because i wanted to just keep the heat off me because it's very very warm today so quickly got changed into another little outfit I have done a whole video of my week in outfits when I'm here, so if you want to check out everything I'm wearing and get all the links and stuff, make sure to head over there. I'll try and leave whatever links I can down below, but that's kind of your one-stop shop. But yeah, hair's staying natural the whole time. I can't be bothered to do it. I've just washed it with my hair burst dry damaged shampoo and conditioner which is my favorite one at the moment and then i also use this little purology leave-in conditioner i'll leave them all linked down below um, and i actually did get on the way here let me show you i picked up this really good frizzy serum that's so good for if you get really frizzy hair which i do it's called the frizzy's weightless wonder feather light smoothing cream looks like this i'll leave it linked but it's worked wonders so that alongside my hair oil every day has just meant my hair just looked really nice and i find sometimes i either get really good natural waves or i get the really annoying like frizz and it's been really nice natural waves the last couple of days so thank god for that because it's definitely looked a lot nicer than normal um this is just heaven like it's honestly i can understand why everyone comes here on honeymoons because it's so beautiful and peaceful and serene and amazing and i definitely definitely want to come back here i really want to bring james back here because i think as a couple this would just be the most beautiful resort and i've actually spoken to a few people who said they did come to this hotel for their honeymoon and it was heaven so highly recommend and this time of year is really good as well because they're just getting into their winter season so the heat is still here and it's very warm but it's also not as hot as it can be because they said it gets to like 38 degrees sometimes, like really, really hot and really, really humid. Whereas this is hot and humid, but it's not as bad as other times. So highly recommend. And May is just quite a nice time to come on holiday, to be honest. Breaks up the spring and the summer quite nicely. Are you ready for some top-notch cooking skills? Because your girl's about to give them to you. <laughs> Are you enjoying that, Jordan? She's being such a pro over here. This is mahi mahi fish, isn't it? It is indeed. And then we've got the little chicken going over here, just simmering away. Here's the finished products. This is the fish Thank one. You. Then we've got the chicken one over here. Oh, yum so yummy we basically made ourselves curries and we had like all the traditional little bits and pieces and some sorbet and it was so nice and the perfect little treat to have before a hike so obviously you're getting the rice in getting a bit of carbs and stuff we're nice and full we've had some water and it's just you know just a good time we're having a good time so yeah we're gonna head out now and go go do some walking So we've just come to the Black River Gorges National Park and having a little explore. So we're going on a little one hour round trip and then we've got a few other bits we're doing today as well, but it's so stunning here. Everything's just really peaceful and quiet. So it's trees and just typical natural parky things, but it's so pretty. Um, and they've got quite a lot of waterfalls here, which is stunning. So I hope we're gonna try and get to see a couple because you know me, all about the adventure. We've driven about 40 minutes up the road and we're now going to Chamarel Waterfall and Seven Coloured Earth, which is like this coloured, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a coloured thing that just looks really cool, very natural, just beautiful. So we're driving down the windy roads right now and gonna get to that and then we're gonna go for a little walk, get to the waterfall, get to all the other bits. <laughs> you look so amused in the background. Yeah, it's because I thought we were gonna crash into a little mini car. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're, we're doing that and I've been snoozing and playing games on my phone, so I'm not the most awake person, but I'll show you when we get up there. OK, 
okay guys we've just got two seven colored earth which is basically colored by the rainwater so the acidity in the rainwater affects the minerals in the sand and causes seven different colors and it's all just like it's not the brightest thing but it's really cool so i'm going to give you a little pan around in a minute but apparently because it's been raining it's better than it is on a really sunny day so we've actually hit jackpot because it's raining so let me show you what it looks like Okay guys, good morning. We are actually in Port Louis at the moment and we're going to go have a little wander around, see what's here, see what the sights are like, maybe go to the market, we're going to get some food, all that kind of stuff. And it's so cool. Like I love doing like really cultural things when I go to places. So I love just like walking around and seeing what it's like. The only thing I will say is if you come to Mauritius, wow it's noisy. If you come to British anytime soon, you do have to wear a mask when you're on the street, so I'm gonna put mine on now. Um, but you have to wear a mask pretty much everywhere indoors and when you're out in like public places. But round about the hotel, you're typically okay. Okay guys, so we're in Port Louis, which is like the central hub of Mauritius. This is like a different kind of vibe. So you're used to like the beaches and stuff, but there is also like the towns and cities and stuff. So this is kind of where all the offices and everything are and a lot of the bits that we're doing today. So you do in Mauritius still have to wear masks outside everywhere. Hence the fetching thing. It has fallen off my nose. I will put it back, I promise. I just can't see because it's fogging up my glasses. Um, but yeah, we're heading a little, we've had a little look around, been to Chinatown, which is one of the roads we're on now. And we're heading over to a market, which is apparently like the biggest market in Mauritius and it's really beautiful so we're gonna have a little look around and see what's there and then we've got a few little bits to do this afternoon like we're going to a temple so we're going to the market we're going to the waterfront we're going for lunch at a really nice hotel and then we're also and then we're also heading over to a temple which I can't remember the name because it's really long but I will put it on the screen when I get there it's so loud here because there's so many motorbikes and everything oh, typical town chaos and it's so hot like it's really sticky and humid here so it's really warm but it's also just like muggy which i kind of like i think it's nice make sure like you're on holiday when you've got the sound of like motorbikes sorry babe when you put the sound of motorbikes and stuff as well so yeah i'm gonna put this back up and we're gonna head over to the market and it's so busy but we're indoors in the little fruit and veg bit so there's fruit and veg literally everywhere i've lost a leash back here but there's just fruit and veg everywhere and it's so it smells so good in here and it's just it's just color everywhere and it's so good i just love it i love little markets they're my favorite thing like just love exploring them next stop of the day is the waterfront so we're actually heading to a little place for lunch can't remember what it's called but it's just here i think and we're gonna have a little lunch on the waterfront enjoy the views and get some yummy food very very hungry so i can't wait to eat <laughs> okay we found the hotel so we're going into le bourdonnais hotel which is on the waterfront and it's beautiful it just looks really nice and like grand so we're gonna go have some lunch here and then we're gonna head back over to the little market that's just next to this so it's not the one that i was in earlier it's a different one with like umbrellas and stuff very good for instagram if you want that and we're gonna try and get some little souvenir bits because i always get a t-shirt so i'm gonna try and get myself one <laughs> We are now at the temple guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's the most colorful thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It's so bright and vibrant and beautiful. So we're gonna have a little look around, but apparently to get in the first bit, you have to take your shoes off and we have to get our shoulders and stuff covered. So I've got the shirt with me and I'm gonna pop that on in a minute, but it's so beautiful. So let me show you what it looks like. I also would say the name, but I cannot for the life of me pronounce it. It's so long. So this is what the name is of the temple. How unreal is this? Like this is literally the most beautiful thing ever. It's so bright and colorful. It's not even picking up fully on camera, but it's so stunning. <sighs> Apparently 
we were just told that it takes three to four months to paint this and they have to repaint it every 10 years and fly people in from India to do it. So it normally takes like three or four guys, three to four months to do the whole thing every 10 years. And apparently the last time it was done was in 2018. So just before COVID hit, which is why it's so vibrant now. Okay guys, we've just got to the second hotel and oh my God, this is unreal. Like genuinely such a beautiful hotel and I would get married here. Like this is unreal. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my room and show you what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go and relax for a couple of hours, take the afternoon off work. At, well, I say afternoon, it's already like half five, so it's not really an afternoon. But I'm gonna take a couple of hours off, sit and read my book outside or chill with the girls, don't know yet. And then we've got dinner at one of the restaurants tonight, which is so stunning. Like this hotel has taken my breath away. So this is what you see when you walk in and it is a little bit dark because the sun's obviously gone down now It's quite late, but on the left I've got a little walk-in wardrobe, which is unreal Didn't know this was a wardrobe until he just came in and put my suitcase down So obviously gonna open that out It means all my stuff is nice and put away and hidden which is great because it means I don't have to look at it And then over here we've just got a bathroom which is unbelievable and then through here is the living area. We do have a full length mirror here, which is perfect. This is the bedroom. So I've got this gorgeous four poster bed, which is absolutely a bit of me. All of the decor here is just me to an absolute tea. Like it's so stunning. So you've got the beautiful lamps there, which I really want for my own house, not gonna lie. Um, and then we've got the TV and stuff here. And I did specifically request decaf with almond milk and they have given me both, which is amazing. So I'm really grateful for that. And then when you turn this way, you've got a little sitting area. So I've got a desk over here, picture frame, which just looks like my living room not gonna lie and then you've got a little sofa and everything some little seats and they've given me some snacks I've got some apples I've got some coconut water which I'm gonna have in a minute because that's just the best thing ever and some little snacks here and then this is my outdoor area which looks like so so I've got two little lounges here I've got beautiful views and there's actually just down there a little private cove which has a couple of beach chairs that you can sit in and then these are the other rooms over here this is the outside and then I'm gonna take you through and show you the best bit of this whole room this is my favorite part of this whole thing this is a sunken bath and look at that for a view oh my god it's like my own private little courtyard so no one can see in but i can see out and it's beautiful there is a little door there so i can go in and out and i think it might be like to outside i'm not actually sure i don't really know or maybe it's to shut that door not sure but um we've got a shower there and then obviously the sink and the toilet and everything but how beautiful is this i'm definitely having a bath one million percent this is unreal like i think this is gonna be my tomorrow morning treat but yeah, that's my little room tour for you. So I'm gonna try and get myself slightly unpacked with my bits that I need for the next couple of days and just relax for a little bit. So I'll catch up with you in a little minute. Okay, it's the first evening in the new hotel and this is my little outfit of the evening. So very, very simple, but I really like this one. This is probably my favorite. Have changed the shoe choice though because I just don't fancy wearing heels tonight. So I've just gone for a blazer that's just open with a little cute lace bra underneath. And then I've got cycle shorts to just obviously keep a little bit covered. But this blazer is quite long on me so it works. So I've got these little sandals on instead of my heels. And then I've got my sparkly bag just to add a little bit of something. So it's still a very cute outfit, but without the sparkly heels. The sparkly heels would have made it because it matched the sparkly bag, but it's fine. We're going to go with it. And then I have actually got <laughs> mossy spray all over me, which is why you can see the little shiny patch. But yeah, just thought it was a very cute little simple outfit for a couple of glasses of wine with dinner. And yeah, going to go enjoy myself. Guys. I feel like Mauritius has really understood my lactose intolerance because I got pasta last night when we begged and now I've got a little starter, a little palm heart salad because there's nothing I could eat off for starters. So I'm definitely being treated because of the fact that I can't have dairy and I'm here for it. We had a lot of pasta last night. Good morning from paradise guys. Last night took a little bit of a turn. I ended up being really dehydrated, barely drinking anything all day. So I ended up feeling a little bit sick after dinner. So I came back and just put myself straight to bed. But dinner was on the rocks and it was so delicious. And this morning we're heading over to the premium villa and we're gonna go for a little floating breakfast, which sounds amazing. So I've just popped on a little outfit, which again, is gonna be linked in the weekend outfits video. Um, but I just, I'm so hungry. Cannot wait for a nice little floating breakfast. It just looks really cute because this resort is beautiful. So we've come down to the Royal Villa, which is one of like the most bougie places you can stay in this resort. And it's like a beautiful villa. You've got lots of outdoor space, lots of little bits and pieces everywhere. And they've also got this beautiful private pool, which is unbelievable. The view is unreal. I'll put some like little B-roll in in a minute and you can see. But we've all got a little floating breakfast each so we can take some cute pics. And it just looks stunning. Like it's so beautiful here. And I'm really excited to have some of the food. I'm gonna give you a quick like overview of what's on here. Cause one is slowly making its way towards me. 
if you do stay at the Oberoi Resorts, you can request a floating breakfast, which I think is the perfect little addition to a holiday, especially if you're on like a honeymoon or you're on like a beautiful little girls trip or something. It's just a really nice special thing to wake up to. Like I've had one of these before in a different trip and it just made the morning so much more special and amazing. And it just is so nice to wake up with something a little bit different. And I personally can't wait to get started, but they're all floating towards me. So I'm gonna show you what's on them. So this is what they've popped on the little floating breakfast. So we've got, I'm assuming like some kind of pastry basket. There's some fruit on there. We've got yogurts, we've got orange juices. There's a teapot. Um, there's some cereal, like lots of little bits and it just looks delicious. And then there is a big boy one over here, which has got two on. So I'm assuming that there's four little ones for four of us and then there's a big one to share um, between two. But how cool is this? This is just such a nice way to wake up, honestly. Oh, this is my idea of heaven, to be honest got my little breakfast here ready to go i'm gonna sit on the edge though because the water is very 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 cold and we're in the shade this morning but we've got quite the selection so there's a lot of like pastries in here we've got cereal we've got fruit we've got juice we've got a bit of everything and i'm sure it tastes amazing but if you want to see the pictures we took head over to my instagram account on my tiktok because i post them all on there but uh, time to enjoy We've just got to Boishere Tea Factory, which is basically a massive tea factory, as it says. Um, we're going to have a little explore. We're going to see where everything's made and produced and all that kind of thing. And we're also going to test some of the teas and have some lunch here. So very excited because I love a good tea tasting. It's one of my favourite things in the world. I just love a good cup of tea. So very excited to have a little look around and just see what's here. The weather's really nice today as well because it's warm, but it's a bit overcast. So it's just not too hot or anything, which is great when you're outside exploring. Currently going around the factory and just having a little look around and seeing them bagging everything up, weighing everything, where everything's going and there's multiple floors, this is a lot of tea, there's a lot of leaves everywhere but it's quite cool seeing how like everything's done and I'm going to bring you into a cool little room now and we'll show you a little bit more of what's going on. I feel like I'm on inside the factory, <laughs> bloody love that programme. the guys are basically emptying the bags of tea up here and putting them on like a little conveyor belt to take them around to another room but this factory is huge there's like we've gone up maybe four floors now and it's so cool like this is all happening here and then i don't know if you can see behind me the bags are basically like swinging around on this little thing above our heads um and these guys are just like having a great time over here flicking around some tea there is so many different parts of making this tea it is honestly crazy there's machines that basically like use static electricity to take fibers out of the tea which looks a bit like what i'm showing you on the screen now there's a million different types of tea and they leave it all to oxidize for three months and add the flavor in that time just to give the tea it's like real big full flavor um, but there's so many different types and there's just a tea everywhere <laughs> you're gonna sniff on my vlog <laughs> Oh my goodness, it has got so warm. So we've actually come to the tea restaurant now and it looks unreal. I don't know if you can see down here, plus Jordan's dancing, <laughs> but it looks so pretty. It's stunning. Like just been in the fields, taking some pictures, done a lot of running around the fields. Not gonna lie, we're a bit, bit out of breath, bit out of breath, but we're gonna go have a beautiful lunch and some tea tasting, which I'm very excited about because the tea smells unreal. So I bet it tastes even better. So we've got a boishery iced tea which is made from the tea that is obviously made here and this is a pear flavour. Apparently it's really really yummy according to the guy who served us so we're going to try it out. <laughs> oh my god it's so good. Got a little bit of grilled chicken for my lunch. The food looks so good. Yours looks amazing. Oh, yum. This is the definition of quarter vibe. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached Rochester Falls, which is our next stop of the day, which is a beautiful waterfall. So we're just gonna jump off the bus now and go and have a little look around and maybe do some swimming depending how cold the water's gonna be. So we've all got our bikinis and stuff on, but I don't know how cold this water's gonna be. <laughs> And we're gonna get lots of 
piggies and it's gonna be amazing. Here, we totally made that way more dramatic than it needed to be. But this little bit here, you have to walk across because you park up there. And basically, I don't know how loud you can hear me because of the waterfall, but basically you have to wade through the water and we didn't know how deep it was. It's clear, but it's like, it's clear and it looks deceptively deeper than it is. So a really kind man that's like obviously a local just helped us across and we were fine. Um, the others are just over here coming across now, but we're gonna try and like get some cute snacks and stuff and like just, you know, like fire waterfall content. hear each other but it was so much fun like we were just mucking around in the water like just laughing so hard the current's really strong but it was so much fun like look at my makeup just look at the state of this right now like this is the sign of a good time <laughs> we've got the most unreal sunset over here and we are at Pont Natural, which is basically like a rock formation that just looks really cool so like the rocks have naturally become like a bridge and it looks pretty cool um not gonna lie we didn't spot it at first because it looks like it, it's just very hard to spot like i don't know if you can see behind me it's just like a lot of a lot of rock um but the sky is so beautiful you probably can't see probably on the camera but it's like the most pink beautiful sky and it looks stunning it's like those nice clouds that are all like pastely and orangey but um let me show you what the little bridge looks like i don't personally think i'm going to be climbing across to get a picture but I've seen some really sick pictures of people on it. Um, the only thing I will say is you cannot get in the water because it's very rough. Like the sea is thrashing. It's not it's not a safe spot to get to get in the water, but it does look very cool for a picture. Okay guys, we've hit the final dinner and this is what I'm wearing. I've gone kind of casual, but kind of comfortable at the same time. So I'm wearing this dress from Pretty Lavish, which I wear in an extra small, really, really comfortable. And it's like very, very, very flattering on. I just love it so much and it comes to my ankles, which I just love. Same sandals as I've worn all week. These are the H&M ones and then I've got my little black Jacquemus bag to finish off and this is my final dinner outfit. So we're having dinner on the beach tonight and we have this beautiful table set up. They've got the food going in these little like things again, which is very cool. I actually don't think food's going in them today. I think they are just actually light being honest i don't actually know i'm making things up they might actually just be lit because i think there's one here about to be lit too <laughs> there's candles everywhere we've got rose petals and everything it's just absolutely stunning so we've gone you can't even see but we've gone shoes off and we're going to enjoy a lovely little candle lit dinner for our last meal so we've been given little reading lights to read our menus because obviously we're sat outside and i'm kind of here for it these are just like cute little et things <laughs> guys it's our final day in Mauritius and it's kind of sad that it's our last day because I really want to stay for longer it's so beautiful here and there's so much to do and there's so much to see and I would love just like a week to sit and relax by the pool or something because we've been going go literally go 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 the whole time so today we've got a few different bits to do I'm not going to talk you through them we're just going to show you as we get there but we had a really busy day yesterday and it was so nice to end the day with like a nice little dinner on the beach so we basically headed over to the restaurant which is the name of the Oberoi main restaurant and and when we were there, they had set up a table on the beach for us with all these petals and candles and everything. It was so beautiful. We had fires going and it was the most delicious dinner ever. Like it was so nice. And we all sat and had some cocktails and stuff and it was just beautiful. And we also had a little stargazing moment, which was so very cute. So we downloaded a little stargazing app on my phone and it was, <laughs> was very fun. Um, but yeah, this morning we're up early, gonna head off for breakfast. And I'm gonna show you the breakfast menu because it is so good here. Like we literally have eaten so much good food. Like I just, breakfast. <laughs> I've got this cough. Okay, first stop today <laughs> is Chateau de la Bourdonnais, which is a beautiful chateau with like amazing gardens. So we're currently walking through the gardens and there's just loads of different types of fruit trees. There's like mango trees and all kinds of things. And he said there's lots of like spices and, and all that kind of thing. So very, very cool. But we're just walking through and it's just rain. So it's got that really nice, like, I don't even know how to explain it. You know when you get that feeling of like just rained like gardens and it's like a bit like smells better. I don't even know how to explain it other than that. But um, yeah, just have a little wander around. So 
So Chateau de la Bourdonnais used to be owned by a French family and is now owned by a Mauritian family for the last 150 years. And it's basically like a beautiful home and it's kind of open to the public so you can come and have a little look around. It's really beautiful inside. Can I have a little look? Learn about the history of it. Love learning about history when I'm somewhere and just like finding out all the details about different bits and pieces because it gives you so much more when you're just looking at something beautiful to know about it as well. <laughs> Mental note, don't arrive in heels because you have to wear slippers. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this place is just reminding me of the notebook, like the outside of the building and the wraparound bit. Like, ah, oh, it's the notebook. But we're apparently off now for a rum tasting. So we're gonna head over to a little, I think it's like a restaurant nearby, and we're gonna do rum tasting and try some of the local fruits that are picked from the gardens of the chateau, which is lovely. We've done a little bit of the rum tasting and it's really good. So it was the Le Bourdonnais rum and it wasn't too expensive either. I think some of the girls got some and it was maybe about like 11 to 15 pounds a bottle, which is quite affordable. So if you've got space in your suitcase, it's not too bad to bring back. And it tasted really yummy. So we tried the spiced gold and it was delicious. And then we decided not to try a second one because we were on a strict itinerary and we've got to get to the next place. Next stop with my little dusty camera is the Pampamoose Gardens, which is a beautiful garden that is all botanical, lots of lovely plants and flowers and wildlife and apparently lots of lily pads so we're gonna go and have a little wander around and see what's here and it's such a beautiful day like the sun is out and it's all just oh, it looks amazing so we're gonna go have a little wander and see what we can come across this place is apparently huge and there's so many things here like we've seen a little hummingbird which is really adorable there's apparently giant tortoises which is pretty cool um also guys are so aware of the fact that this camera has dust in it and it's really infuriating but there's not much i can do so we're going to do a little sideways vlog because that's the only way i don't get dusted but i promise you i bought a new camera so next vlog there's not going to be this issue it has been resolved i, I promise but apparently there's giant tortoises somewhere i really want to go find the giant tortoises might be my mission for the day. Find a giant tortoise. Mm. Oh my lord, I can't even explain how big this thing is. Ugh. Botanical Gardens is so serene and beautiful. I could honestly spend all day just wandering around here. There's so many different parts. It's very typical to like any other botanical garden in the sense that you've got like different areas of different things, but it's beautiful and it's just massive like absolutely humongous but we've come across to the lily pad pond which is just it looks like if i'm being honest a screensaver from like an apple mac <laughs> that's the kind of vibe i'm getting from this pond but i'll show you in a second when we get there but there's lots of cute little bridges and all sorts so i highly recommend if you come here to come and rachel was just saying that you can do like a cycle ride around here as well so might be worth checking that out if you're into like cycling around and just seeing it all a lot quicker and maybe going for lunch nearby or something. The rain has definitely started but we managed to get all our shots and see everything we wanted to see before it happened and we're now heading over to Aventa de Sucre which is a sugar factory that has been turned into like a museum and there's also a restaurant and stuff because obviously a lot of Mauritius is to do with like sugar cane and all that kind of thing so there's a lot of sugar focused things and a lot of rum focused things so we're going to head over there for lunch and then we're going back to the hotel to do some little bits and pieces and then we've got to pack because we're leaving in a couple of hours which is really sad but you're making faces behind me. <laughs> about? <laughs> so we've come into the museum at Aventa de Sucre and it's actually quite cool. There's a really big room here with boats and everything and you walk through a room that has lots of like videos and information bits in I think multiple languages I'm sure but there was definitely English and French so you can kind of walk around and see everything and learn the history of here and just the sugar in the Mauritius and just sugar in Mauritius in general which is really cool so it's pretty cool to see like the big boat and everything and just experience a bit of something historical. Good evening guys. We have the final countdown now until our flight and I've just finished packing, hence the situation I'm in right now. But I'm waiting for my room service to turn up because we've ordered, obviously, room service for the last night and I'm so excited. So I've ordered a pizza, obviously without cheese. So I ordered like a, what did I order? I think it was like a tandoori pizza. And then I also got some sorbet and some Diet Coke. So nice meal for one on the sofa and I'm gonna pop the TV on and just enjoy sitting in this room for the final time and write my gratitude in fact i'm not even gonna put the tv on i'm gonna sit and write my gratitude and just like everything i'm grateful for for this trip because i think there's nothing more important than showing gratitude for every aspect of your life especially things like this when it is something that is so amazing and so just like i can't believe i'm sat in mauritius in a five-star hotel flying business class with the most amazing itinerary and seeing the most amazing places 
because of my work like I just I can't believe I'm here and I think I really want to write down everything I'm grateful for and all the amazing memories and stuff and just really express everything onto paper and just have an hour or so to myself just thinking because I've packed everything up now so I'm basically just sitting around waiting to go and wait for my food to turn up which is really nice so I think we're leaving at 10 past 8 well we're leaving at about 20 past 8 but the food's being but the luggage is being picked up at quarter past eight so i'm really hopeful that the food comes and i can just chill and stuff but i'm glad i've packed everything because it's just ready to go and i've got an hour before i need to take the luggage down so yeah basically that's that's today <laughs> But that's it for my Mauritius vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to. If you've got any questions about anything that we did or you want to know more about the itinerary or anything to do with the hotels or anything, let me know down below. I'm pretty sure that everything we did is something that you can book as a paying guest. I'm 95% sure. The cooking class is the only thing that I'm not 100% sure on. But things like the floating breakfast you can ask for. Obviously, there are additional extras. So they are things you will have to request to the hotel if you book, but highly recommend the floating breakfast because it was so beautiful. I think it might be specifically for the villas. So if you have like a private villa, but again, I'm not 100% sure you'd have to request when you book and just everything we've done has been so fun. Like I think one of my highlights was definitely the waterfall because we just, I don't think I really vlogged much because to be honest, it was just, it was so, you couldn't vlog. Like we were in the water, you couldn't really do it. And I forgot the GoPro, but it was so fun. We were just having pure chaos in the water the current was really strong we were getting pulled all over the show we kept slipping off the rocks it was just so funny but in the videos it looks really calm and peaceful and it's just hilarious and it was so fun because we all just had like a bonding session just laughed the whole day that was really really fun and then i also enjoyed ill or surf which was on the first day when we just went to the beach and we just had a nice relaxing afternoon there beautiful beach beautiful waters and genuinely i think one of my favorite parts of mauritius and to be honest i'm already thinking of coming back like this would be one of the places i would definitely come for like a week away with james and just have pure chill but also take him to experience those things too because the bits in the island culturally are so amazing and i've really enjoyed learning about different bits especially the colorful temple i really enjoyed learning about and i liked going around port louis and stuff so yeah very very fun trip um i hope you enjoyed the vlog don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i promise the new camera is already on its way to my house so you don't need to worry about the quality anymore because it's driving me insane vlogging on this camera when it is so beaten up but it's done me well and it's time to upgrade bye guys Okay, final clip. So he said my ice cream is melting rapidly. So I've basically got like a sorbet yogurt over here. Also got pears, <laughs> um, but this is my little pizza. So I've got a nice little tandoori here, obviously without cheese because it's me. And then I've got Diet Coke and I still have some snacks from earlier. So they've given me all the little chocolates and bits that are in here. So I think I'm gonna enjoy a cake pop or two for my dessert, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now.